dismissing Calgary. And tonight, the World Tag Team Championships hang in the balance in a ladder match as the Rolling Brutes look to take back the gold from Finn Balor and Damian Priest of the Judgment Day. And also kicking us off in moments, live from Saskotia Bank Saddle Dome, the almighty Bobby Lashley finally gets his hands on the street champ, Solo Sokoa. These two men got history dating back for months, and things have come to blows over the last few weeks since the reemergence of Lashley. Let's take you back to London, England this past October. Lashley, on the verge of challenging for the WWE Championship, was ambushed by Solo in the backstage area. Solo Sokoa was out to put himself at the front of the line for the WWE title. Took out the number one contender, leaving Lashley with fractured ribs on the shelf for well over a month. That was until just two weeks ago when Bobby Lashley re-emerged here on Raw, a surprise to us all, spearing Solo Sokoa after a successful matchup in the middle of Grand Rapids, Michigan. You know, what about what happened last week here on the Red Brand? Lashley successful earlier in the night, but a brawl breaking out in the backstage area into the arena, leading to these events. Solo Sokoa once again reminding Lashley what started it all, going through a table down to the concrete below. With Bobby Lashley on the road to the Royal Rumble to challenge for the WWE Championship, a roadblock emerges in the street champ Solo Sokoa here tonight. Well, Merry Christmas, everybody. It is Monday Night Raw. It is Calgary, Alberta, Canada, and the road to the Royal Rumble continues. The following is scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring from Colorado Springs, Colorado, weighing in. 73 pounds, the almighty Bobby Lashley. Well, Bobby Lashley, I'm sure, ain't feeling holly jolly tonight. And he is laser focused on the task at hand. And of course, coming up a week from Sunday, Lashley gets the championship matchup that he earned back in October when he finally meets Seth freaking Rollins for the WWE Championship at the Royal Rumble. Lashley defeated Brock Lesnar back at Clash at the Castle in October. Did not come out of that matchup 100%. And then the attack by Solo 24 hours later left Lashley on the shelf for well over a month. Now the Almighty is back and he has brung his receipts. He is looking to take care of Solo Sokoa tonight and then be full steam ahead to Sin City, Las Vegas, Nevada, Sunday night, January the 7th. 2024 when he challenges for the WWE title at the Royal Rumble. And his opponent from Las Vegas, Nevada, weighing in at 250 pounds, Solo Sikoa. Well, walking down the aisle is one bad elf, the enforcer, the street champ, Solo Sikoa who has been knocking at the door of the WWE Championship for months. And of course, Solo did get an opportunity in the six-man Hell in a Cell match back at Armageddon a number of weeks ago. That did not go the way of the street champ. But Lust, we continue forward. And Solo Sokoa with a big opportunity tonight, not only to prove he is the better man against the almighty Bobby Lashley, but a victory over the number one contender could easily put Solo in line for a future WWE Championship opportunity. The stage is set for a big time collision. We are live, Calgary, Alberta, Canada, Saskotia Bank Saddle Dome sold out on this Christmas night. And we kick things off with a heavy hitter, Lashley, Solo. The history between these two men comes to a head right here, right now. And I expect some Louisville sluggers to be thrown in the early going of this matchup. Some live rounds, if you will. That is exactly what we are seeing as the bell has sounded and Solo and Lashley already throwing haymakers. It is going to be a high profile night here in the Saddle Dome in Calgary. In your main event, the World Tag Team Championship will be on the line in a ladder matchup as the Judgment Day defend against the Rolling Brutes. And those two teams, a lot of history themselves throughout 2023. One final meeting set for later tonight Ladders will be in play. The title's hanging high above the ring. Right now, Solo Sokoa looking to do a number on the almighty Bobby Lashley. Solo successful against the Celtic Warrior Sheamus two weeks ago. Lashley re-emerged. Speared Solo, I would say out of his boots, but he's not wearing any. 
Last week here on Raw, Lashley with a emphatic win over Ashante the Adonis. And after the match, a little uncharacteristic, I will say, for Lashley. Decided to send Adonis back inside the ring and take him out of his boots with another big time spear. Lashley obviously hell bent on retribution, focused on the WWE Championship. Lashley all kinds of furious and fired up over the last number of weeks since his Raw return. Nonetheless, Lashley looking to take out some of that anger and even the playing field with Solo Sokoa tonight. Put him on the back burner as he looks towards Seth Rollins and the WWE title at the Royal Rumble. Solo Sokoa may not know what hit him after this matchup. Lashley all over the enforcer. On the outside, Lashley flying in the sky like Rudolph. Down to the ground goes Solo Sokoa and the almighty Bobby Lashley has got his foot on the gas pedal. Bobby Lashley did not come to play games tonight. Out for retribution against the man who put that exclamation point on those damaged ribs back in London, England in October. Lashley was supposed to face Rollins at Survivor Series in November for the WWE title in the middle of the world's most famous arena in Madison Square Garden. That match did not take place because of the actions of the street champ. Lashley now, even with Rollins on the horizon at the Rumble, still with a score to settle tonight. And also tonight, here on Monday Night Raw, the Celtic warrior Sheamus set to go one-on-one -on -one with The Miz. A lot of writing on this matchup. Who knows the condition of Sheamus after that war with Solo two weeks ago, plus The Miz, who has called out the returning CM Punk for the Royal Rumble. Looks to close out his losing streak once and for all. Remains to be seen what's going to happen when those two men collide in the middle of that ring later tonight. Nonetheless, Solo Sokoa just trying to get back into this matchup, and right now, he's looking good. Solo Sokoa, all the tools to be a WWE champion, a main event player, but can he get the job done when it matters most? Big time Samoan drop, going for the spike. But Lashley has done his homework. Sat back and watched Solo for weeks on end, and he was nursing those fractured ribs. No Solo Sokoa's playbook very well, and now Lashley pulling out the strong maneuvers. Belly to belly suplex, sending the street champ to the other side of the canvas. On this Christmas edition of Raw, Solo Sokoa, I don't think in the mind of Bobby Lashley, ended up on the nice list. Solo all kinds of dazed and confused in the corner as the almighty now looking to push the presser. Once again, the strength on display. A solo face first off the floor. And you gotta wonder what's going through Seth Rollins, the WWE Champion's mind as he watches this matchup. Knowing a week from Sunday, he's got Lashley in the middle of T-Mobile Arena in Sin City. I'm sure there's a part of Seth Rollins that's hoping Solo Sokoa throws off the momentum of Lashley tonight, but even greater than that, hopes that Solo does such a number on the Almighty that Lashley does not walk into the Royal Rumble 100%. All remains to be seen. Lashley vying for the WWE Championship, but also vying for that revenge against Solo Sokoa. Meanwhile, Solo going for the splash from the top. Nobody home. The Almighty seeing red tonight. Off the reversal. Big time power bomb. Down goes the street champ. Lashley flexing his muscles in the middle of Calgary. You know, the interesting thing, and one thing we should note about Bobby Lashley with the WWE Championship matchup on the horizon, Solo Sokoa, Lashley needs to make sure he is focusing on one matter at a time. Cannot be overthinking the matchup with Solo tonight. Cannot be thinking about the WWE Championship a week from Sunday. He's got to stay focused on the matter at hand. Because if he does not, Solo Sokoa easily might have a window of opportunity to take advantage. Lashley on the outside. Lashley with a reversal. Mean strike to the jawline of that wild Samoan. Oh, man, look at the strength of Lashley that time. Ragdoll and Solo over the top. And now Lashley off the apron. Willing to throw caution in the wind tonight. Some unlikely maneuvers out of the arsenal of Bobby Lashley, but with the momentum and the retribution that is riding on the line for Lashley. Willing to leave it all inside and outside the squared circle tonight. Now Solis Sakella getting hung up in that 
barricade right there. You gotta wonder, is Bobby Lashley feeling the effects of getting put through that table seven nights ago by Solo? That brawl that broke out in the backstage area spilled into the arena. Not too far from where Lashley and Solo are fighting now. Solo with that suplex to Bobby Lashley crashing right through the wood of a table and right down to the concrete. Wait a minute, hold that thought. Lashley with a spear on Solo. Into the cover. But the street champ still into it. Lashley wanted the exclamation point, but he did not get it. Big time spear with the enforcer still into this match and making a dose off those Samoan drops. Not the Christmas gift Lashley was hoping for, but Solo Sokoa delivered it all wrapped up and nice. Unfortunately, not a three count that time. The street champ looking to stomp out the heart of the almighty. We have got a fight on our hands, kicking things off in a big time matter tonight on Monday Night Raw. The bad blood between Solo Sokoa and Bobby Lashley not leading to a very Merry Christmas for these two heavyweights. But as we know, all roads lead to a week from Sunday. Sin City, Las Vegas, Nevada, the 2024 Royal Rumble. Kicking off the road to WrestleMania. Cannot wait to get to the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas Sunday night, January the 7th. Solo Sokoa could be looking at this matchup as a way to build some momentum towards that 30-man Royal Rumble match that I'm sure the street champ is looking for a spot in. Nonetheless, Lashley on the outside, and Solo now is the one soaring through the sky. Big time Samoan splash to those previously injured rib cades of Lashley. Two. Back to his feet, not by will, but by force of the enforcer. Now a suplex on the outside. And again, talking about that table from last week, the connection with the concrete. Is Bobby Lashley coming into this thing 100% tonight? Whether he was or wasn't, Solo Sokoa obviously looking to re-aggravate a previous injury. Meanwhile, Lashley trying to fight out between a rock and a hard place that time. Here's to throw a haymaker, nobody home. Oh, gets caught that time. Solo Sokoa meets the floor of the Scotia Bank Saddle Dome. And does it again. Bobby Lashley not gonna allow Solo Sokoa to derail his plans tonight. Lashley wants a big time victory against the man who put him on the shelf back in October. He wants to coast on his way to the Royal Rumble and challenge for the WWE Championship. Solo Sokoa obviously with other plans, but who will be the better man tonight between these two heavyweights, these two egos of the Monday Night Raw locker room? With the cover goes the almighty, not just yet, Solo Sokoa still into this fight. You see the frustration written all over the almighty. Solo running to the outside there. Trying to create some distance, but Lashley not having any of it. Getting into some deep waters in this matchup, and it may just come down to who's got enough left in the tank. Who's got the endurance? Who is willing to outfight the other? Such a high profile match like this with so many underlining stories coming into it. Neither one of these men looking to give an inch. Nonetheless, Lashley trying to take out the knee of Solo on the outside. Now Lashley again, having his way with the street champ. Lashley's been waiting for this moment for months on end. The Almighty was sitting up at night thinking about finally getting his hands on Solo Sokoa tonight and has become a fruition. The spear two weeks ago was just the appetizer to what Lashley wants to be the full course tonight. However, Solo with different plans, big time headbutt. Solo Sokoa not interested in Bobby Lashley's affairs at the Royal Rumble, interested in his own momentum starting his own road to WrestleMania. That bear hug in on Bobby Lashley, nowhere to run, nowhere to hide, unless you are somebody the caliber of the Almighty. Trying to fight his way out, that time he does. Big time clothesline. Solo could not allow Lashley to really get going again. Go for the spine. Buster, whoa, wait a minute. 
counter that time. Solo stop and Lashley dead in his tracks. Pendulum of momentum starts to swing back and forth in your opening matchup tonight from Calgary, Alberta, Canada. Now Lashley in the corner. Solo with his eyes locked on the opposer and dropping him with that close on. In the corner and down to the ground goes Lashley. And now the street champ up to the top. Are we going for that Samoan splash? Or Solo. Oh, instead, a Samoan headbutt right to the heart. And that may do it. Not just yet, Lashley's still into this fight, but how much was taken out of the Almighty off that sequence? Don't want to get a headbutt from a Samoan. Out on top, the delivery from the top rope. Bobby Lashley, worse for wear right now. Solo may be nearing a victory here. Bobby Lashley's got to get back into this. Wait a minute, Samoan spike! A cover by the street champ. Lashley's still alive. The Almighty's still into this opening matchup. Solo thought he had it. The exclamation point, the finish, the Samoan spike. Lashley trying to come alive, but Solo having none of it. Bobby Lashley's hurt, and Solo Sokoa, like a savage animal, seeking his prey. A second Samoan spike. And he got him. Solo Sokoa has pinned, no questions asked, the number one contender for the WWE Championship. Well, that just made the situation here on Monday Night Raw oh, that much more interesting. Here is your winner, Solo Sikoa. There ain't nothing dirty about that. You may not like the result, but Solo Sokoa was just the better man on this occasion. No backstage assaults, no tables and concrete, just the fight between the ropes. And unfortunately for the number one contender, his momentum just took a detour by hands of the enforcer, Solo Sokoa. Time is now to become part of something bigger than yourself. A force that will change the game. Do I have everybody's, everybody's attention, attention now? now. On this Christmas night, we deliver you a huge announcement regarding the 2024 Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic. This year, not one, but two separate tournaments. Firstly, for Monday Night Raw, the tournament begins two weeks from tonight, January the 8th, with the finals concluding at Elimination Chamber at the end of January. The winners will challenge for the World Tag Team Championship at WrestleMania regarding the SmackDown side of the tournament. Their portion begins Friday night, February the 2nd on SmackDown with the finals taking place at WrestleMania themselves. And as you can see, the winners of the SmackDown side of the bracket will become the brand new SmackDown exclusive WWE Tag Team Champions. The World Tag Team Champions, the ones that will be defended right here tonight, staying on Raw, very exclusive to the red brand, the 2024 Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic, surely going to be one to remember. Well, that kicks off two weeks from tonight, the night after the Royal Rumble does the Raw side of the tournament. But before we talk about the Dusty Classic, we got some other matters on hand regarding the Royal Rumble. And the A-list superstar, The Miz, has called out the best in the world, CM Punk. He wants Punk one-on-one -on -one in T-Mobile Arena. But first, The Miz is going to try to break a losing streak that has plagued him for the better part of a year. The following contest is scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring from Hollywood, California. 
California, weighing in at 221 pounds, The Miz! The last time The Miz was victorious, November 30th, 2022, in a tag team matchup on SmackDown. He has lost 12 straight singles matches since then, over a year since The Miz was victorious here in the WWE. And now The Miz, for one reason or another, has decided to call out the man who has promised to return at the Royal Rumble, that being the best in the world, CM Punk. CM Punk is yet to accept that challenge, however, The Miz looking to break his own luck here tonight. But I'll tell you what, 12 match losing streak or not, it is no easy task when you're going up against the Celtic Warrior. The only difference tonight makes is that this is a battered and bruised Sheamus coming in after his matchup with Solo two weeks ago. The tape ribs will be possibly a deciding factor. And his opponent, representing the Brawling Brutes from Dublin, Ireland, weighing in at 267 pounds, the Celtic Warrior, Sheamus. Sheamus coming into this matchup with a battle rune, wound around the ribcage, excuse us. That coming two weeks ago at the Slammy Award edition of Raw when he went one-on-one -on -one with the man you just saw inside the squared circle, Solo Sokoa. And unfortunately for that matchup, it was not only a loss for Sheamus, but a war all the way to the finish line. Solo absolutely targeted Sheamus in that matchup, not just from a winning perspective, but from a beatdown perspective. It was all over the midsection, was all over the rib cage, put Sheamus through the announce table in that match, and now Sheamus coming in nowhere near 100% tonight. Nonetheless, the Celtic Warrior assigned this matchup with The Miz and obviously going to give it his best. I'll tell you what, The Miz, who's been on a 12 match losing streak throughout 2023, when we have seen him throughout this year, 12 matches may not seem like a lot, but. When you ain't picking up victories, you ain't gonna be featured on the show. And that's something the A-list superstar has found out real hard throughout 2023. Nonetheless, The Miz certainly has a target in Sheamus' ribcage. Will he be able to take advantage? Or is this gonna be another night at the office for the Celtic Warrior? All remains to be seen. Nonetheless, we thank you for joining us tonight on this Christmas edition of Monday Night Raw. We are live from Calgary, Alberta, Canada. So Scotiabank Saddledome a week from Sunday away from the Royal Rumble. Monday Night Raw already been hot and heavy tonight with that collision between Bobby Lashley and Solo Sokoa. Still in shock that the number one contender Lashley took a loss so close to the Rumble but not in shock that it came to the hands of Solo Sokoa. Of course, still to come in your main event, the World Tag Team Championships that we now know, exclusive to Monday Night Raw, will be defended between Damian Priest and Finn Balor against Butch and Ridge Holland, Sheamus' running buddies in the Brawling Brutes. What about the news we found out moments ago? The 2024 Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic. Not one, but two separate tournaments. The Raw Tournament gonna take place between January the 8th, two weeks from tonight, and Elimination Chamber at the end of January. Winners of that tournament will go on to defend, or I should say challenge, for the World Tag Team titles at WrestleMania. Of course, on the Smack so SmackDown side, brand new WWE Tag Team Championships, exclusive to the Friday Night brand, being introduced. Their tournament gonna kick off Friday night, February the 2nd, and will conclude in March at WrestleMania. Exciting times here in the WWE as we prepare to exit 2023 into the new year. And here tonight on your final Monday Night Raw of 2023, a lot of superstars looking to make some waves on the road to the Royal Rumble. And The Miz obviously looking to do the same. This thing getting taken to the outside, I would say usually not going to favor the man that Sheamus is opposing, but it may not favor Sheamus here tonight as he's got that target all around him. The Miz desperate for victory. Obviously looks at the returning CM Punk and sees an opportunity to catapult himself from obscurity all the way back to the main event of Monday Night Raw. Obviously remains to be seen if The Miz will even get the fight he wants CM Punk yet to accept. Maybe waiting to see what the result of this contest is. Well, the Miz better stop taunting this Calgary audience and better keep his eye 
on the Celtic Warrior. Wait a minute, Miz trying to roll up. Sheamus going for the quick win here. Not just yet. Sheamus may be coming to this match hurt. Maybe coming in nowhere near 100%. But the Celtic Warrior going to keep fighting until he hears a bell. And the Miz may have drawn the lucky straw tonight. Getting a obviously nowhere near complete opponent. 12 match losing streak or not, Sheamus is a dangerous man to be in the ring with. And the Miz better be thanking his lucky stars at least to an extent that he's got a target around the rib cage. All remains to be seen if it's gonna work out in his favor. Obviously he's gone after it throughout this matchup, but no pinfall just yet. Now the Miz chopping Sheamus down his size a little bit on the knees and now looking to take out not only the midsection, and possibly knock out the Celtic Warrior in the middle of Calgary, Alberta. The A-list superstar, former WWE champion, former WrestleMania main event. We're going to get back to the promised land. And it could all start for The Miz if CM Punk accepts his challenge for the Royal Rumble. But first, he's got to find a way to survive Sheamus tonight, break his losing streak, and then maybe the self-proclaimed best in the world will accept his fight for Las Vegas, Nevada. All remains to be seen as The Miz takes out Sheamus, that swinging neck breaker, as the Celtic Warrior is trying to get back into things. You've seen The Miz go toe to toe with Kevin Owens, Sami Zayn, Xavier Woods, Cedric Alexander. Just some of the names Miz has crossed paths with here on Monday Night Raw. What about that open challenge that he issued back at SummerSlam in August, accepted by the late great Bray Wyatt? Just another loss for The Miz on that night. This has got to try to find a way to break his luck. Maybe Christmas 2023 is going to be some good fortune for The Miz. Or remains to be seen. He's obviously doing a number on Sheamus. He has controlled. The majority of this matchup has The Miz. And obviously that is due to the fact of Sheamus' injury coming into this thing. But he hasn't been able to get the three count he's looking for yet. The race to the finish line isn't over. Unfortunately for Sheamus, he might not make it to the finish line in his condition. Just collapsing at ringside is the Celtic Warrior. Hasn't earned that name because it looks good on a t-shirt. Sheamus, the Celtic Warrior for good reason. A bruiser, a fighter. The head honcho of the brawling brutes. And a former champion himself. Right now, Sheamus is down and out at ringside. The Miz back inside the ropes, and Miz could be looking for a count-out victory in the middle of the Scotiabank Saddle Dome. Referee at a count of six. Miz flaunting his stuff. The Celtic Warrior trying to hobble his way back inside the ring, and he does, but the Miz right there to try to take him out again. This is a very unfortunate situation. Sheamus is finding himself in tonight for one reason or another taking this match against The Miz. Maybe it would have been wise for the Celtic Warrior to just rest up for another few weeks, save your energy for the Royal Rumble matchup. Nonetheless, we are here, we are live. This is Monday Night Raw, and Sheamus gonna give it his best. Unfortunately, Sheamus' best, not necessarily what he is at tonight. The Miz obviously laser focused on victory, maybe more than he ever has been. Oh, wait a minute, look at this, look at Sheamus hanging The Miz up in the barricade, and that could finally be that last-ditch effort that Sheamus needed. On the outside, power bomb, and the Celtic Warrior, the great white of Monday nights, coming alive. Well, The Miz has been controlling the majority of this matchup. Sheamus trying to turn it on its head. Can he do it? Dropping a DDT, and down goes the A-list superstar. Looking to rearrange those Hollywood looks. Oh, the Miz with a right hand. A left, a right, a chop. Creating some distance. Sheamus has other plans. Collar and elbow. The strength of the Celtic Warrior, but not able to keep him there. The bruised rib cage, and Miz just getting out of there, swiggling like a worm. And it goes from behind, and Sheamus hurting. Clutching at the ribs that time. I do not like this matchup. Sheamus coming alive, at least for a few moments, but Miz completely saying otherwise. Sheamus is hurt. And now once again, the self-proclaimed world-famous it kicks. 
And Seamus may be knocked out cold. Wait a minute. Now a ringside. Miz going behind. Skull crushing finale on the floor. Now you gotta be kidding me. That's taking things a, a bit too far. Referees at a count of four. Miz so desperate for victory after he hasn't gotten his hand raised in over a year. Hits a freaking skull crushing finale on the floor here in the Scotiabank Saddle Dome. Count of seven, Sheamus trying to hustle up back into the ring. The Miz, oh come on now, a second skull crushing finale. No, Sheamus is still alive. Sheamus is still in this matchup. How the hell in his condition did Sheamus survive two skull crushing finales, one of those being on the outskirts of the squared circle. Now look at this, a reversal by Sheamus. Some fuel left in the tank. But how much is there as he goes for the backbreaker? Miz says otherwise, schoolboy. Sheamus is down, Miz stacking him up. And Miz elects for the quick pinfall and finally breaks his year plus losing streak. Well, it didn't come without an asterisk. If you ask me, Sheamus coming into this matchup nowhere near 100%, bruised rib cage, taped up, coming in to fight nonetheless, two skull crushing finales, and Miz still has to elect for a quick roll up for the victory. You know, couldn't happen to anybody better. Absolutely ridiculous. Here is your winner. The you look at that, Sheamus still on his feet. That is the heart of the Celtic Warrior. Sheamus ready to keep fighting, injured and all, but nonetheless, the Miz got his wish. He has broken his losing streak by hook or by crook. Now we wait to see if the best in the world, CM Punk, will accept the A-list superstars challenge for the Rumble. The time is now to become part of something bigger than yourself. A force that will change the game. Do I have everybody's, everybody's attention, attention now? now. Well, I'll tell you what, I can't wait to not only see CM Punk's return at the Rumble, but hopefully he accepts the challenge and puts The Miz to sleep. Nonetheless, we got some tag team action on hand here in Calgary as the arrival of the Nightmare, the Eradicator, Rhea Ripley, is here. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Introducing first, representing the Judgment Day from Adelaide, Australia, the WWE Women's Champion, Rhea Ripley. The Eradicator, the WWE Women's Champion, Rhea Ripley, marches her way down the aisle, a week and change away from defending that gold in Las Vegas, Nevada, against one of her opponents here tonight, Liv Morgan. We will see Rhea Ripley's boys in the Judgment Day defend their world tag team titles in a tag team ladder match against the Rolling Brutes later tonight. But up next, women's division tag team action. We're live from Saskotchewan Saddle Dome on Christmas night, Calgary, Alberta, Canada, and Raw is live up next. The next time we come your way for a live premiere event, we kick off 2024 as the road to WrestleMania begins. Sunday night, January the 7th, we come to you from the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas, Nevada for the 2024 Royal Rumble. What will happen at one of the most anticipated events of the year? A night where 15 Raw and 15 SmackDown superstars battle it out for a chance to main event WrestleMania. Join us live Sunday night, January the 7th, 
2024 for the Royal Rumble. Cannot wait to get to the Royal Rumble and witness the WWE Women's Championship on the line. And from Elmwood Park, New Jersey, Liv Morgan. Well, 2023 was a rocky ship that Liv Morgan led. Women's Championship in her past, but looks to win it all over again a week from Sunday in Vegas when she takes on the Nightmare of the Judgment Day, Rhea Ripley. Liv Morgan, a former champion in her own right, took down Rhea's opponent, or I should say tag team partner here tonight, Blair Davenport, back in October in London, England. Liv returned to Raw a few weeks ago with a victory over Tiffany Stratton after being on, a, being on the shelf for a number of weeks with an undisclosed injury. Nonetheless, Liv back tonight alongside Canada's own Queen of Hearts, Natalia. We got a tag team matchup on our hands live on Monday Night Raw. We are looking to make an example of Natalia in the midst of this tag team matchup. Well, she was. Now tagging in Blair Davenport. Nonetheless, obviously a lot of momentum riding on the line towards the Royal Rumble tonight. Rhea Ripley has held that women's championship since September, excuse us. Former Money in the Bank holder cashed in successfully, obviously. As voted by you, the fans, the Women's Superstar of the Year two weeks ago at the Slammy Awards. It's been a banner year for Rhea Ripley. But will it all come crashing down a week from Sunday at the Rumble? And hold that thought, credit where credit's due, Blair Davenport with a big time missile drop kick on the number one contender. Live down and out. Blair Davenport back in action with Liv, the woman who took her took her out back in London, England in October. Reuniting that clash here tonight in Calgary. The number one contender, Liv Morgan, as we mentioned, won the Women's Championship, dethroning the Empress of Tomorrow, Asuka, back in May of this year. Unfortunately, a championship reign that did not last long as she fell to the Queen of Spades, Shayna Baszler, about a month later at King of the Ring and failed to obtain the title once again the following month. Liv has been on the rise on Monday Night Raw trying to raise her stock, climb the ladder, the number one contendership. Once again, back in her grasp. Will she be able to take the fullest advantage of it at the Rumble? That's what remains to be seen. And speaking of the Rumble, getting a little preview of it right now, Liv and Rhea going at it. The title will be on the line a week from Sunday in Sin City. Tonight in Calgary, loads of momentum are at stake. And the Eradicator, Rhea Ripley. Look at they send a message early to her opponent for the Rumble. Rhea has been dominant over the Monday Night Raw women's division. Taking down Becky Lynch in October, Principality Stadium, Cardiff, Wales. Did it again the following month in the Extreme Rules match, Madison Square Garden at Survivor Series. Just about three weeks ago at Armageddon, taking down Raw's newcomer, Alba Fire. Women's champion, Mrs. Money in the Bank, superstar of the year for the women's division. Rhea Ripley has broken out on the scene all over again in 2023, but Liv Morgan not looking to be a shadow in the cast of Rhea Ripley. Hip toss, down goes the Eradicator. We're going to talk about breaking out on their own. Liv Morgan looking to break out once more in 2024. Meanwhile, the tag main to Canada's own Natalia, who has had her run-ins with Rhea Ripley earlier this year. These two women met in a Canadian street fight back in the springtime. One of the last times we did a tour of the North. Back once again these last few weeks. And Natalia right back in action against the women's champion. Rhea Ripley looking to slow down the pace. Liv was getting fired up. Natalia came in hot. Rhea Ripley with other plans. Now going after the number one contender. Knocking out of what she would say her ring. Rhea looking to be successful tonight and hopefully build some momentum for the Judgment Day as they defend their gold up next in the main event. Face first off the canvas goes Natalia into the cover. Liv Morgan in there to break things up and not allow a Three count for Rhea just yet, but this may lead to one. Rip tie. 
Liv Morgan still legal woman in this matchup. Or I should say still alive in this matchup and a spin kick not even allowing Rhea to get a one count. Natalia down dead center of the ring. Rhea just trying to get to her feet in the corner. Referee got to make sure chaos does not ensue in the midst of this women's tag team match. And Aria back to her feet and delivering a mean boot to Natalia. Dropping the leg again. Right back on the offense. Rhea Ripley so dangerous. Inside and outside the squared circle. The mastermind of the Judgment Day. Dominant inside the ring. One of the reasons that that group has been so successful. Talk about Rhea Ripley and voted the Women's Superstar of the Year. Of course, Priest and Bauer, the Tag Team of the Year. Very successful have been those three. Will it continue into the new year? Really kicks off tonight. And the last player, Davenport, Liv Morgan, fresh legs on both sides of the field. Nice counter that time into the pinfall. Blair ever to get the shoulder up. Liv's going to keep fighting. She's made a career of it. She's overcame obstacles in the past, surprised us all. Looking to do the same tonight. Blair face first, Rhea off the, off the apron. Will that be enough? Not just yet, Davenport still into it. Liv not gonna find success just yet tonight here in Calgary. Nonetheless, the match rolls on. First of two tag team matches on what has been a very exciting edition of Monday Night Raw. Christmas night in Calgary, and my goodness, Liv may not wake up till New Year's. Off the knee, Natalia to break it up. I think Liv might have got the shoulder off the canvas, but that was a mean knee right to the jaw. All four of these women throwing some heavy bombs in this match. Cover by Liv, trying to go for the quick cover. Not able to get the three count. Her bell definitely may be wrong off that knee. Moments ago by Davenport and once again dropped down. Could be a rookie mistake by Blair, however, not taking advantage. Liv makes the tag to the veteran. Natalia, the queen of hearts, looking to be successful upon a return to the north. Nice clothesline. Simple yet effective maneuver. Speaking of rocks, Blair may be rocked. Of double lariats that time. Discus on the second. And a cover. And that's going to do it. Natalia and Liv Morgan picking up the victory tonight in Calgary. The WWE Women's Champion may have not seen her shoulders pinned to the canvas, but obviously not going to be satisfied in a technical loss here tonight. The number one contender's got a lot of momentum. Will it pay off a week from Sunday in Las Vegas? Here are your winners, Natalia and Liv Morgan. You can talk about the dominance of Rhea Ripley all we want, but you cannot underestimate a former WWE Women's Champion in her own right. Liv Morgan's back, and she's been hot ever since. The number one contenders earned her place at the front of the line. Will she be able to cash in and take advantage a week from Sunday in Sin City at the Royal Rumble? Last week in Toronto, the Rated R Superstars return was spoiled by another return of the Beast Incarnate, Brock Lesnar. Lesnar laid out edge with not one but two emphatic F5s. We questioned why Lesnar targeted the Rated R Superstar and rumors swirling in the locker room pretty much read that Brock Lesnar sees Edge as an opportunity back to the main event. Edge saw, or I should say Lesnar saw Edge become a free agent. Lesnar wants the same status. Lesnar wants an opportunity at either the WWE or the World Heavyweight Championship over on SmackDown. Will he get there remains to be seen, but Lesnar and Edge will meet for only the second time ever in their careers a week from Sunday in Las Vegas at the Royal Rumble and also officially signed for the Rumble. The best in the world, CM Punk, has accepted the challenge of the A-lister, The Miz. Punk meets The Miz in his first match in 10 years in the WWE a week from Sunday in Sin City.
and some of the other contests sign for what is going to be an epic night in Las Vegas. The Women's World Championship over on SmackDown set to be defended as Shayna Baszler puts the gold on the line in an Armageddon rematch against the EST Bianca Belair. Some of the women you just saw in action, Liv Morgan continuing a ride a high off her return just a few weeks ago. But can she ride that momentum and take down the Eradicator Rhea Ripley for the WWE Women's Championship? Gunther called his shot. He wanted a challenge, and so he gets it. Gunther will defend his world heavyweight title against the human highlight reel, the future of flight, the one and only Ricochet. This should be a huge David vs. Goliath collision for the big gold bell. And ladies and gentlemen, after Solo Sokoa's victory earlier tonight, we have news that he has officially been added to the WWE Championship match at the Rumble. Seth Rollins cannot be pleased, Lashley even more, but nonetheless, the triple threat is on for the WWE title. And of course, the Royal Rumble kicks off the road to WrestleMania. 15 superstars from Raw, 15 superstars from SmackDown, the 30-man Royal Rumble match coming your way a week from Sunday in Las Vegas. But what about next week on the day one edition, January the 1st, Monday Night Raw, we have a huge six-man tag team matchup signed as Sol Sokoa alongside Karrion Cross and Joe Gacy take on Kevin Owens, Sami Zayn, and the almighty Bobby Lashley. And for the first time ever, ahead of his meeting with Brock Lesnar at the Rumble, the rated R superstar Edge meets the man of Carmelo Hayes for the first time next week, day one edition of Raw, kick it off 2024 with a bang. But it is time to conclude the final Monday Night Raw of 2023. The World Tag Team titles, now exclusive to the red brand, hang high above the ring, set to be defended in this tag team ladder matchup. The following contest is a tag team ladder match and is for the World Tag Team Championship. And at a combined weight of 458 pounds, Ridge Holland and Butch, the Brawling Brutes. Well, these two teams have been heavily intertwined throughout this year. The Brawling Brutes won the World Tag Team titles back in September at Unforgiven. Unfortunately, they lost them just a few weeks ago back to the Judgment Day at Armageddon in the midst of that tornado tag team matchup. All the meetings in both singles and tags between these four superstars all comes to a head in your Raw main event. It is a ladder matchup. Climb the rugs, take down the gold, and solidify yourself as the faces of the tag team division here on Monday Night Raw. The challengers have entered, and now the champions making their way down the aisle. And at a combined weight of 439 pounds, they are the World Tag Team Champions, Finn Balor and Damian Priest. The Judgment Day! Now two-time World Tag Team Champions and the 2023 Tag Team of the Year. The Archer of Infamy, Damian Priest. The Prince, Finn Balor. The Judgment Day. Well, they have been a successful trio alongside Rhea Ripley throughout this year, but will they end the year on a high? Rhea Ripley may have her gold, but coming up short with a technicality moments ago, Will the result be the same for the Judgment Day? They don't have to be pinned. They don't have to be submitted in this matchup. Butch and Ridge just have to win the race to the finish line all of the top of the ladder and take down the World Tag Team titles. Will they be able to succeed? Will the Brawling Brutes become two-time champions? Or will the Judgment Day continue to solidify their legacy as one of the best tag teams to ever grace a Raw ring? Remains to be seen, the Annie upped earlier tonight, finding out that the 2024 Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic kicks off two weeks from tonight, the night after the Royal Rumble. Of course, the winning team will challenge for the World Tag Team titles in March at WrestleMania, but here we go. Your main event of Christmas night in Calgary, the Brutes, the Judgment Day, ladders are in play, and the gold's on the line. 
All the meetings throughout this year, the Brutes have come up with victories. The Judgment Day have come up with some as well. And I'll tell you what, an asterisk on this matchup, and something we have failed to mention just yet, is what happened just seven nights ago here on Raw. The Judgment Day, before finding out they would be defending their tag titles tonight, are set in a singles matchup. Damian Priest went one-on-one -on -one with the New Day's Xavier Woods. And Woods picked up the victory against the Archer of Infamy. It's been well documented over the last couple of months that the New Day has been trying to climb their ranks in the tag team division again, earn themselves an opportunity at the tag team titles. We speculated last week that after that win by Xavier Woods, he easily could have put the New Day in number one contendership. Gotta wonder if the New Day are having their eyes locked on this matchup, waiting in the wind to see who is gonna take down the tag team titles and possibly defend the gold against Kofi Kingston and Xavier Woods. All remains to be seen. Butch introducing a ladder. Things, of course, breaking down at ringside. No count outs, no disqualifications, goes without saying. The only goal is to climb those rugs and take down the gold that is hanging above the ring. Meanwhile, oh, Damian Priest lucky he wasn't more balanced on that ladder. That could have hurt that much worse. Casualties that can happen in a ladder match like no other, I'll tell you. Very similar to the Tornado Tag Team matchup we saw just a few weeks ago at Armageddon, except this time, the ladder's in play instead of pinfalls and submissions. There's those Tornado rules that the Judgment Day were really able to take advantage of. Really cut the ring off, separated the Brutes from each other. Which was on one side, Rich Han was on another, and the Judgment Day was just able to take advantage. And look at this, the Brutes on the outside, both members of the Judgment Day climbing the ladder, trying to take down the gold. Finn Balor caught in a powerbomb by the Bruiserweight. Damian Priest luckily didn't catch a dirty fall, but nonetheless, the action of this matchup and the dangers of a ladder match on full display. Man, what a night of action it has been. Live from the Siskosha Bank Saddle Dome, Calgary, Alberta, Canada, playing an amazing host to the final Monday Night Raw of 2023, a Christmas edition of Monday Nights. Next week, the day one edition of Monday Night Raw, the final Raw before the Royal Rumble. I'll tell you what, tensions are rising high, especially after tonight. So much news coming out of tonight's Raw, leading up to the Rumble and the road to WrestleMania season. So much action continues to come your way, week in and week out. Right here, the matters at hand are the World Tag Team titles, the titles that are now exclusive to the Red Brand. SmackDown will crown their own Tag Team Champions in March at WrestleMania, but who for now will lead into 2024 as the Tag Team Champions of Raw? So many ladders already being introduced as Rich Holland taking care of Finn Balor on the outside. Priest and Butch going at it in between the ropes. Those ladders obviously used to climb and take down the gold, but certainly there to be inflicted as weapons as well. As Priest finding out firsthand, my goodness! I think Priest and his own momentum accidentally knocked Finn Balor off that ladder. Luckily, it wasn't that painful of a landing, but still. A little bit unbalanced, and those ladders are going down. Priest into the steel again, and Butch gonna inflict a little bit more damage. This is the carnage that you can expect in this type of matchup as Ridge with the overhead throw. But the Prince not gonna allow the brawling Brutes to mount enough momentum in this tag team title ladder match. And Ridge the fridge coming unglued inside the squared circle. And a Balor from behind that time. Two ladders in the ring. Bodies flying left and right. Just like it was in the Tornado Tag Team matchup a few weeks ago in Detroit. So hard to build continuous momentum in a matchup where you gotta have your head in a swivel. Eyes in the back of your head. Butch introducing another ladder. As if we don't have enough steel and chaos away in these men already. Meanwhile, Finn Balor on the outside. He'll be pulling out yet another ladder, and yes, he is. And Oh, wait a minute, that's a little bit of an extra large one. And Finn Balor precariously setting up this ladder between the announce table and the ring apron. And I do not like that for any of these men. That includes the Judgment Day in this match. Hopefully we don't have to see the carnage that that ladder may 
put on display tonight, but I got a feeling the Prince is coming in with some demons that he wants to meet head on. Rich Holland trying to come to the save, knowing that the Prince may have his eye. And this ladder that he set up here at ringside. Nonetheless, Damian Priest is the sole man inside the ring, and the Brawling Brutes better head in, trying to even the score. Priest precariously climbing that ladder, not too much impact. Butch getting knocked off by Balor. Priest with his eye on the gold. Rich Holland trying to go after the Archer of Infamy. Finn Balor trying to cut him off. Is Damian Priest about to retain the World Tag Team titles for the Judgment Day? Wait a minute, there's Butch, grabbing a hold. Electric chair, and down goes Priest, just at the last second. The Judgment Day was mere moments away from retaining the World Tag Team titles. The Brawling Brutes, however, looking to write a different story. Butch and Ridge did the unthinkable. Back in September of Unforgiven, they beat the Judgment Day for the Tag Team titles. A bump in the road at Armageddon. Saw the gold leave their way. Oh my goodness, and Finn Balor. Crash landing on this ladder. Wait a minute here. Ridge Holland scaling the ropes. Butch is scaling the ropes. Ridge, splash to Priest. Butch, moonsault through the ladder. And down goes Finn Balor. My God. Chaos and anarchy on its fullest display in the midst of this tag team main event. And meanwhile, South of Heaven by Priest. Well, Butch set up that ladder, however decided to go after Balor instead, and luckily able to save the day for the Brawling Brutes. A lot of action to keep up with in this matchup, adrenaline fueling these superstars to say the least. Those World Tag Team titles literally hang in the balance tonight. Who is going to be the better team? Leave Calgary, Alberta with the gold. To close out 2023 on top of the Tag Team Division is what is on the line. Aller throwing his own body in harm's way just to eliminate Ridge the Fridge right there. And now the Pele to Butch. The Bruiser right down. Is he out, however? Nice reversal that time. Damian Priest trying to come in with some more weaponry. Luckily not able to take advantage, however. The Judgment Day starting to rule the ring. A complete 180 from just a few moments ago when the Butch, or excuse me, when the Rolling Brutes are soaring through the sky like Santa and his reindeer. Butch dazed and confused on the outside. Ridge Holland laid out by Priest. We're trying to get in there, keep this fight going. Knows that it's just a half a second that could separate them leaving with the Tag Team Championships. The Balor and Priest taking home the gold. What's back to the outside. And Ridge met with a mean boot. And now the Judgment Day, ruling the squared circle. Will they leave Calgary, Alberta with the Tag Team titles? Priest scale on the ladder. Ridge confused at ringside. Butch in the ring. Balor trying to play defense. And Damian Priest has got a hold of the tag team titles. An unfortunate loss after a great effort by Ridge Holland and Butch of the Brawling Brutes. But the two-time tag team of the year. Tag team championships remain with the Prince, Finn Balor, and the Archer of Infamy, Damian Priest, the Judgment Day are always on top. Here are your winners, and still World Tag Team Champions, Damian Priest and Finn Balor. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we can confirm that the New Day wait at the front of the line, and now we'll be next up to challenge the Judgment Day for the World Tag Team Championship a week from Sunday in Las Vegas at the Royal Rumble. That is then, this is now, at the Scotiabank Saddledome here in Calgary, 
witnessing a brutal tag team fight in the midst of this ladder match for the gold that still remains with the tag team of 2023, the Judgment Day. Well, we thank you for joining us for the final roll of the year. Next week, day one edition of the Red Brand on January 1st, and the final Monday Night Raw before we get to Sin City and the Royal Rumble. Face on when I chase like that, yeah, I play so strong with a knife in the back. I'm a swing home run like a baseball bat. Gonna see me rise, you can hate on that. I don't play both sides, doing me no cap. I'm a rock.